Most of us can only dream of having an office with a great view. With hard work and a bit of luck, some people are rewarded with the view from a high-rise office building. AV's Gordon Fullerton found another way to the top. Here's the view from his office as commander of the space shuttle in 1985, looking down on the Antelope Valley. A resident of Lancaster for over 18 years, Gordon Fullerton is a NASA astronaut and research pilot. Throughout a distinguished career with the Air Force and NASA, he's gained a unique perspective on the world from nearly 400 hours in space and over 16,000 hours piloting more than 130 types of aircraft. He was born in Rochester, New York, grew up in Portland, Oregon, and earned advanced degrees in mechanical engineering at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena. In 1958, at the age of 22, he joined the Air Force and became a fighter pilot and bomber pilot. And in 1964, he graduated from the Air Force Test Pilot School at Edwards Air Force Base. His calling as an astronaut came soon after, and from 1966 through 1969, he was a flight crew member on an Air Force space flight program called the Manned Orbiting Laboratory. This mini space station program was eventually canceled before he or any other crew members had a chance to orbit the Earth. Gordon was then assigned to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston as an astronaut serving on support crews for the last four Apollo missions to the moon. Again, he was on deck, but no trips into space. Gordon returned to the Antelope Valley in the mid-1970s, where the space shuttle Enterprise was being built in Palmdale. He became one of four pilots to fly Enterprise during a series of gliding test flights at Edwards in 1977. ALT and all the flying happened all within one calendar year, 1977. Fred Hayes and I were selected as one of the two crews. Joe Engel and Dick Truly were the uh, other crew. We were uh, coming up with the procedures and the very first orbiter simulator in Houston. We did lots of engineering simulations. We were right in a checklist from zero and uh, a dream assignment really for action, uh, the ability to really influence a design and then uh, test it in the end. Finally, in 1982, Gordon made it, serving as the pilot on the third shuttle flight in orbit. Six, five, we have main engine Zero, 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 zero. The eight-day test mission in Columbia subjected the orbiter to extremes in heat and tested the shuttle's remote manipulator arm. Because of a not-so-dry lake bed at Edwards that spring, it became the only shuttle flight to land on the ultimate runway at White Sands, New Mexico. Okay, Columbia, welcome home. That was a beautiful job. Three years later, Gordon was the commander of a crew of seven on a week-long mission in the space shuttle Challenger. This flight carried Space Lab and over a dozen science experiments not everything on that flight, however, was a scientific experiment. In 1986, after nearly 20 years in space programs that often took him away from home, Fullerton decided to resume his career as a research pilot so he could live full time with his wife and two children in Lancaster. I came from JSC, 25,000 people worked there. 99% of them have never seen a spacecraft, a real one. They've seen lots of, uh, in the old days it was view graphs, now it's uh, PowerPoint slides. Uh, they've uh, watched on TV and mission control, even the, one, the few who are close to operations. Dryden's always been known as a place when there's some, something tricky to do send it to Dryden, it'll get done. And a lot of that is because people here really like airplanes, like new and different experiments, and they delight in being able to walk down to the hangar and see it for real. And uh, e even the people working in HR and finance 
go down, crowd in the pilot's office or go on the roof when something new is on the ramp or a flyby or whatever. And so that's why this place gets things done over the years. From a personal standpoint, to get to do what I love to do more than anything for as long as I have, and it's been backed up by my buddies who are all jealous. Uh, so as, as a for personal reasons, I count that a terrific success. <laughs> There's hardly anybody that's, uh, that's prolonged uh, what a lot of people consider the high point of their life for as long as I have. Okay, 5-0 and uh, 6 three. I'm gonna do some uh, just mild maneuvering here, if you can uh, both stay with us. I see 5 Sport. Right to work west uh, in Isabella, southern Isabella. I count what satisfaction I've had and success I've had uh, to um, blind luck and timing. So much of it is not, not what you do, not even what effort you put into, but it's are you at the right place at the right time when it comes along. And uh, I've really been lucky that way. Gordon's experience in a variety of aircraft has served NASA and America well. He's at home flying large planes like the 747 shuttle carrier aircraft and the NASA B-52. Yet he's just as comfortable flying high performance and experimental aircraft such as the F-18 and the X-29. His achievements have been honored by the Society of Experimental Test Pilots, NASA, the Air Force, and the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics. He is also one of the test pilots chosen for the Lancaster Walk of Honor on Lancaster Boulevard. Mr. Fullerton has indeed earned the office with a great view, and for those of us on the ground, he's a man to look up to.